learn to spend 80% of your time as a leader with the 20%. For maximum efficiency and productivity, this is part of the key. Since it's going to be 80-20, and there's plenty of examples to show that it's 80-20, not exactly, but fairly close, ask the minister of the church, who picks up the tab here, and he'll say, probably, 20% of the people pick up 80% of the tab. I mean, this is called one of those things, okay? So what do you do? Well, you learn to work with it and not try to solve it. It's like trying to solve the seasons. You don't solve the seasons, you learn to work with the seasons. They're all set. And some of these things by history are all set. The key is to learn to work with the way it is set. So part of the key of leadership is learning to spend 80% of your time with the 20% because they're doing the 80%. We would call that good leadership sense. Now you say, well, how do you do that? Let me give you part of the answer in how to do that. Here it is. Spend individual time with the 20% and group time with the 80%. This is part of the answer to leadership skills. However, guess who wants your individual time? The wrong group. But that's what life's all about, right? Accepting this challenge. So now you've got to be what we call clever. And you've got to be, another key word, diplomatic. Diplomacy and strategy are two key words for leadership to understand. Diplomacy and strategy. Here's part of the diplomacy. Mary comes and says, I've got a question. You say, Mary, bring your question Saturday morning. I'm going to meet with everybody and I'll cover it then. She says, okay. Now it might not be that easy. But if you start trying to put this in perspective now, groups, you can deal with the 80% by groups. And you can talk to the 20% individual. Now, the pull is in the opposite direction, and it always is. Gravity is the downward pull. Life is the struggle in the opposite direction of gravity. It's downward pull. Life is moving in the opposite direction of the normal negative. Now, somebody says, well, I'll just fire the 80%. They're only doing 20% of the business. Well, I wouldn't fool with that. Because after you've fired the 80%, before too long, whoever is left, 20% of them will be doing 80% of the business, and 80% will be doing 20%. Right? This is not something you fire. This is something you learn to work with. The 80-20 rule, very important rule. 